So guys, primate Elijah Ayodele, hmm, the leader of the Irish Evangelical Spiritual Church, has issued a stem warning to President Bola Metinubu regarding the December Declaration of Biafra Nation, that is Biafra Independence, by Simon Ekpa in the Southeast region. According to the man of God, he said IPOB is like a cancer. <laughs> he said the Nigerian government should drop the pride and dialogue with them and release their leader, if not this war that is about to come, you know, will shock everybody. Well, uh, it's no longer in news that uh, Simon Ekba has uh, vowed to make sure that Biafra is declared by December. And he also said that nothing will stop the declaration of Biafra come December. You understand? And Nigerian government too, in the other hand, had been getting ready, waiting for Simon Ekpa and his declaration of Biafra Nation. Because Nigerian government has said that nobody will leave Nigeria. Everyone will stay as one. But the issue of Biafra uh, struggle is actually getting tougher in the Southeast region. And many a majority of Nigerians have said that releasing Mazin Namdi Kano will eventually do a great job consigning the issue of a Biafra struggle. So Nigerians and um, uh, Southeast leaders, some Southeast leaders have said that releasing Mazin Namdi Kano will be a stepping stone for the Southeasterners and Nigerian government as well, because there, you know, a at least a kind of peace we reign in the Southeast. Maybe with that, Simon Ekba might, you know, calm down a little bit. So they'll be asking Nigerian government to dialogue with agitators. The truth is that what is happening right now, Nigerian government never foresaw this. Because they never knew that Simon Ekpa we <laughs> will be a problem to them the way it is right now. Because they feel that adopting Mazenam De Kano and keeping him in detention will eventually end agitations in the Southeast. But they don't dictate them, take they say, the way you are going about this matter, you are doing the wrong thing. Because this man has rebred thousands of himself in the region. And the way the whole thing is right now, Bill, like I say the agitation itself don't come off for Simon Ekba and Mazen and the Kano's hand. So the only thing that Nigerian government needs to do now, just like what the man of God is saying, that they should drop the pride. Listen to these people. In a roundtable talk, you understand? What are their grievances? Come to think of it, do you think anybody who is where he or she is, you are enjoying where you are? And uh, you will just come, you want you just want to leave because you want to, you know, make noise. That means something is wrong is wrong. And this is what Nigerian government do not want to go into. You don't run away from troubles like this. This is a problem. So you need to get into the root of these things and settle it. That makes you a man. So then they talk, say a real man, the face is problem. You know they run away from it. Going around this issue of agitations in the Southeast, we persist, even the next generations to come, if this issue is not settled. The Prime Minister of Biafra Republic in, uh, government in Ezra has said that nothing on earth can stop the actualization of Biafra independence come December. Akba disclosed this in a statement on Monday through his official ex, why a report by an international media titled Biafran's March Towards Independence Gains Momentum. According to him, the international recognition of Biafra agitation have shown the level of sacrifice by Bridge and all Biafran world, uh, world, uh, worldwide. So he said, no Jupiter on earth would stop Biafra, you know, from actualizing this year independence. Now the question is, 
how will Nigerian government take this? Are they still going to use Wahala? Would they apply peace? But let's see how things go. But the truth is that interesting times is just ahead of us. Yes, I'm dropping it. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Please don't forget to give 